Welcome to day 15 on our journey to Calvary. As we continue this trek, uh, and the, the whole purpose and intention of doing this is to remind us of how much God loves us and how much God desires for you and I to walk closer and closer with Him. And that He provides uh, the wisdom and the knowledge and the encouragement that we would not stray from His Word but that we would be standing on a firm, solid foundation to where our lives could be, uh, find so much peace and satisfaction because we're close to God. God doesn't want us to be far, far away from Him. He doesn't want us to be where the prodigal was. He wants you and I to be up close and personal with Him. Let me share with you uh, one verse out of Matthew, the third chapter, verse 8. Listen to these words, if you would. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. You know, be careful that you're bearing the fruit that God would have us to bear. Not that fruit of evil, not that fruit that is bitter, not the fruit that is far, far away from that which is in accordance with what God's will is for our lives. Because, you know, God has a purpose and a will for each of our lives. He cares for us and is so concerned. When you and I come to faith, we need to know that as, as our faith, as we have faith in Jesus Christ, we can then begin bearing fruit that is leads not only ourselves to repentance or challenges us to walk closer to the Lord, but it can also touch the lives of others. This fruit could be reconciling with other people, with people that maybe we have wronged or sinned against. Maybe it, be, it could be that maybe we need to apologize for wrongdoing in some of our friends or, or co-workers or someone's life. Or maybe it could be that a relationship has been fragmented and that we need to take time and to do the very best that we can to repair it. It's, we need to realize that God has called us to repentance. He's called us and He has claimed us to be sons and daughters of His. If we would only hear Him, good fruit, not evil fruit, when you come to know Jesus Christ, comes forth from us. So it's certainly uh, fitting that you and I on this day, that we would reflect and, re and think about our own lives. What kind of fruit are you producing? Or are you simply at that point in which that I've received Jesus and that's enough? Jesus never told us that that was enough. He wants each of us to use the talents and abilities that God has given to us to the very best so that God may be able to use us in a way and manner in which that is pleasing to His eyes, but also it is productive and it's beneficial to those that God sees fit to bring across your, yours and my path. So let me challenge you this day before we close that each of us would use what the talents that God has given to us to the very best of our ability and to seek to be of aid and benefit and help and encouragement to all those that God brings across to our paths. Pray with me here if you would. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this, your day, <clears throat> an opportunity once again of being together, of just simply recalling and reading your word and seeing what your will is for our lives. But Father, that we realize that as we're heading toward the time that we're going to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son, that, Father, that Jesus taught us in three short years, He taught us so much that is so beneficial to us. 
and it gives us power it gives us strength it gives us direction and father your word never ever fails us and for that today i simply say praise you lord thank you god for we ask it in jesus name amen have a wonderful remainder of the day may god bless look forward to seeing you again tomorrow